I love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Drink my weight in it. Do you take cream or sugar? Or anything? Just sugar, please. Sure, sure. A band's called Love Sets Fire. Um, starting up here in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. So we've got um, a couple different singers right now, including me, and then David's a drummer, and then a bassist, and two other guitarists. So. Okay, and what kind of music do you guys play? Oh, uh, like alternative rock. It has like this 80s retro vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. That's fun. Uh, well, drums have always been my, was always my um, passion, what right. I've always wanted to follow. I think the thing that really hit me first when I listened to the Beatles. Beatles? Yeah. I fell in love with the Beatles, and then I was a really big fan of Ringo Starr, and I'm like, gosh, I want to be like that guy. Well, I started playing guitar and singing when I was around 9 or 10. Um, and then when I was in junior high, I took a few years of classical piano lessons. Um, and then I never really, I kind of played a couple acoustic shows, didn't do too much with it. It was like a bedroom artist kind of thing. Um, and then came up to Edmonton and got really back into music this past year here. My biggest influences I grew up with, my dad had a great CD collection with like um, a lot of uh, Fleetwood Mac, uh, Pink Floyd, Tom Waits. Um, the Beatles, just all of that old Woo! stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a huge Stevie Nicks fan, Joni Mitchell fan, yeah. so that's probably biggest inspirations. Definitely wanting to release an album, yeah. as mm -hmm. well as just performing more outside of Canada, playing in the States, going to the UK, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, yeah, same, getting an album out and, uh, and getting out and playing more live shows. Shows and, and when we're going to open mics. So okay. I, I post when I have shows and 